Hi, how are you guys doing? My name is Ray. Um, some of you guys know me by Nine Dolls, and I'm gonna take you along on my journey while I brass prep for my upcoming match this weekend. I'm gonna start from square one, as in I have some fired brass I collected after I shot from the last range day, and I'm gonna prepare it from start to finish. I'm gonna show you all the products I'm gonna be using. This is just an overview video. Look for my later videos on each individual product itself. So first on our menu is the Frankfurt Arsenal M-Press. It is a coax design, it has a floating die block, and why I really like this press is it's almost like a plug and play for me after I have my die set, set screw locked. It's just pop it in, go to town, pop it out, put a sizing die in, and hey, look, I don't want a low 6XC anymore. I want a low 6.5 Creedmoor. I'm just gonna get my 6.5 Creedmoor dies. And this is already set for the gun I'm loading for. First, I'm gonna size. I'll get my sizing one, pop it in, go to town, and then I'm done sizing. I wanna see, take that out, pop in my cedar, and that is it. And that is my favorite feature about this press. Um, some other ones I really like is the integral shell plate holder and it is just amazing because I tend to lose things I mean they just mostly if you don't like load for a while like I always kind of lose my 223 shell holder and I really like that I don't need another shell holder it is ready built in I go from 308 to 223 to 338 or whatever I want and it's just there no pieces to lose that is great. Another thing is if you're OCD like me and you like a clean reloading bench, it does come with its own little primer catch tray at the bottom. And when you're done load, you know, sizing like a hundred, just take it out, dump it, pop it back in, call it a day. And now we have size brass. We got to clean now. So we're going to move on to tumbling. So now you have size brass, but it's still full of lube. So I personally throw in this rotary tumbler. I throw water in there, my brass, my stainless steel media, and a cleaning solution. I've used Dawn and Lemon Shine before, or you can just toss one of these little packs in there. Um, turn on the timer and this will start spinning. The brass will get mixed with the cleaning solution and the little pins will get all up in the primer pockets, which I really, really hate cleaning. So this does it automatically for me. And that is worth its weight in gold. Um, after that's done, I want to separate the media from the brass and that's where we'll go next. So wet dry media separator, uh, pretty easy to use, dump everything in the bowl, fill the water line, shake it back and forth. Media will settle down. Brass will stay up here but there's two things I really, really care about this, is this little drain. So once you're done separating it, you put the brass in here, run under water to clean out any of the excess solution. You can also put your pins in here and do the same thing. But this also has a little strainer. So once you have that water in here with the stainless steel media, you can pour it out and this little mesh thing will catch all the pins, which uh, won't get into your sink like I used to always do. <laughs> so after we're done with that, we have nice, clean, wet brass and it's time to dry. The brass dryer is pretty self-explanatory. It dries brass, <laughs> comes with five different trays. You want to load them equally. Uh, you can set it from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 160. And mine usually takes around an hour, an hour and a half. Um, once that's dry, I'm on to the next step, which is the case prep center. So after we have sized, cleaned and dried our brass, I'm going to measure if I need a trim or not. I'm going to use these case gauges by Ellie Wilson's. And if I do need a trim, I'll use this case prep center to do so. 
and then I'll chamfer and deburr and if I need to I will square up the primer pockets and that's the end of my brass prep if you guys want to follow me on social media my screen name is nine dolls on Instagram and Facebook and if you have any other questions about the products I've shown you look up btibrands.com I've also included all the links down below and I want to wish you guys happy reloading